Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at two different ways to determine what files and folders are taking up the most space on the hardware. On Windows 10, you have two main ways to check the storage usage. That includes using the storage settings or third-party tools like the one we're looking at today, which is known as, as Windows Directory Statistics or WinDir Stat. I'm choosing to include these two methods because, because while the storage settings page is a good place to start looking into how the files and folders are using the available space, it is limited because you can't actually determine which exact files are using the most space. On the other hand, the WinDare tool can show exactly what file or folder is taking up the most space on the computer. Okay, let's dive into the steps to see what's taking up space on the hard drive on Windows 10. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to have YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Okay, first we're going to look at the steps to check what's taking up space on the computer using the settings app on Windows 10. And to do that, open start and look for settings. Then open the app. Then go to system, click on storage. And on the right, we can see what's taking up space on the hard drive. In this particular case, we have a drive C that includes about 70 gigabytes. And we only have close to nine gigabyte of available space. If we click this option, we will be able to see the type of items that are taking up space on the computer. We can see the system of reserve is taking the most space, but usually, you can delete these files because those are necessary for Windows to run correctly. However, on apps and features, if we go right here, we can see that we have a lot of apps. And then if we sort them out by size, we can see that we have different apps that are taking a lot of space. So if you're running load on a space from here, you can select and start deleting those apps that you probably don't need or rarely use. Now, even though we can delete system files that help Windows to run correctly, we can go to the section that shows temporary files. And basically, these are different type of files that are generated by the system or apps that are actually temporary. And you can actually delete them to improve the storage on your computer. By default, you're going to have some options that are already checked, but you can add other options as well. Right here, one of the things that we can add is Recycle Bin, Temporary Windows Installation Files. And if you've recently upgraded to a new version of Windows, you're probably also going to find the previous installation files as an item that you can check right here to free up more space on the computer. Now, one thing that I'm going to be clear is to be careful if you want to check the downloads option because this actually deletes everything that's included on the downloads folder. So if you have anything important there, make sure to transfer it to another location and then check this option to remove the files. Once you're ready, just click the remove files button and then the computer will clear up the files, freeing up space on the computer. Now, it is important to note that you will only see the storage usage for the main hard drive or the drive C where Windows is installed. If you have multiple hard drives installed on the computer, you can scroll down and click this option, and that will take you to another page where you're going to see a list of all the hard drives installed on the computer. And from here, you can click the drive, and the system will be able to tell you how that space is being utilized for you to have an idea on where to start deleting files or applications. And that's it. That's how you check what's taking up space on Windows 10 using the storage settings. Now, if you want to know specifically which file and folder is taking up space on your computer, you're going to have to use a third party tool. There are many out there, but one that I used in the past and it worked just fine. It's called WinDeer Stat. And first, we're going to install that. And for this particular case, I'm going to use the Windows Packet Manager. And to do that, open Start and look for the terminal. Right click and run it as an administrator. And then we're going to type this command and then press Enter. That's it. Now the app has been installed on the computer. And to open it, just go to start and look for win there stat and open the app. If you have multiple drives, you can scan all of them, but I do not recommend that because that may take a really long time. So it is best just to choose each drive individually. In this particular case, I'm going to select the drive C where Windows 10 is installed, and then I'm going to click OK. And now the app is going to perform a full scan for all the files and folders on your computer. This might take some time depending on how much content it's on your computer. Now, after the WinDeer Stat app finishes scanning all the files and folders on your computer, you're going to end up with a result 
that looks like this. Now, the report is divided in three main sections. On the top left, you have the file structure by size that makes it easier to identify which folders are occupying the most space, as you can see it right here. Also on the right, you can quickly see the storage usage by file type so you can quickly see which file extensions like videos and images take up more storage. Now, at the bottom of the page, you're going to find the report with the graphical view. You're going to notice a lot of rectangles and each of these rectangles actually represent a file on your computer. And actually the size of the rectangle represents the size of the actual file. So the bigger the rectangle, the bigger the file is on the computer. And each color represents a file extension. So for example, if I select this red rectangle, we can see that it's pointing to an ISO file that I have stored in the computer. And this one is about 4.3 gigabytes. Now, if you want to delete the file because you're running out of space or you just want to free up a space, you can right click on it and either select this option to open the location file explorer where you can actually delete the file or make a more informed decision depending on what other files you have in this location. Or you can right click on it and delete the file permanently or you can move it to recycle bin. Now, another way to browse this report is from here, from the top right. From here, you can sort the extensions and you can see which one are taking the most space. For example, right here, if we select the extension, we can see that it takes about 39.3% of the space that is being used. And that is about like 21.7 gigabytes in this particular case. And when we select that, the graphical report is going to point where those DLL files are located. Now, if I select the ISO, which is the easier to give you an example, that will actually highlight this rectangle right here. And we can see that the ISO file is being selected. Since you can also see how the space is being used utilize for each folder. You can also select the folder right here and you can see this being selected right at the bottom and we can browse this to get to the actual file that is taking the most space or the folder that is taking the most space on the computer. One thing that I wanted to point out also is that this application is actually scanning every single file on the computer. So at times it might stop responding, but that's actually how it works. It just takes a little bit of time and then it will react again and you can continue using it. So you just need to be patient how you use this. Now, if you want to dig deeper into how the space is being utilized on your computer, one thing you can do is to use the top left navigation. And from here, you can first identify which folder is using the most space. For the purpose of this video, let's just open the users folder. And from here, I'm just going to open the folder that's using the most space, which is actually my account right here. And from here, we can see that the folders that are using the most space is the downloads folder and the app data folder. Usually you have to have a good reason to delete files from this location. But if we go to the downloads folder, again, just for the purpose of this video, we can see that the ISO file is taking the most space. So from here, you can always take the action to delete it or open the file location to understand the context of that particular file. Now, at the top, we also have some different options that we can use. And if you need to re-scan the computer, you can use this option right here. And these are actually the options that you can find when you right click on a file or a folder. Now, if you have multiple drives and you selected only one to scan, you can click the option right here and that will open this interface where you can select a different drive to scan. And that's it. Those are two different ways that you can use to see what's taking up space on Windows 10. We looked at the storage settings that gives you an overview on how the space is being utilized and what type of files are taking up the most space. You also have different options to just drill down to uninstall apps or delete temporary files that might be taking space on the computer. We also seen the WinDirStat, which is an open source application that does the same thing. However, it gives you more details. It allows you to determine exactly Exactly how much space a particular file in a folder is using on the computer. Let me know in the comments which option you prefer to check the storage usage on your computer. Remember to like the video, share it, and I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.